Tomorrow, I will be born. Tomorrow, this life of memories and dreams will become my true, real life. My brothers and sisters call me the lucky one because I had memories, because I had visions of another life, because I had a second story. Much of this story I remember. Some of it was told to me, but I know now that all of it was true, the best parts and the worst. It began with the worst. Another child. He came to me in my bed as I slept, and he placed the baby next to me. Your father has named her Rachel. Rachel, sit. Stand. Arms. Your verses for today are Genesis, chapter 22, verses 1 through 18. You have two hours. Unto him, 
Abraham, Abraham. And he said, Behold, here I am. And he said, Behold, here I am. Naomi and Rachel, you were not perfect.
He came to me in my bed as I slept, and he placed the baby next to me. Your father has named her Judith. You can go. Sin, Caleb. I sin, Father. Do your brothers sin? My brothers sin. Do your sisters sin? My sisters sin. Do you want to be forgiven? I want to be forgiven. Caleb, the list. Caleb, cursed. Abigail, D in algebra. Naomi, wore jewelry. Leah, forgot to feed the babies. Luke, ran in the house. Jeremiah left the window open. Mara slipped outside. Maddie broke a plate. Rachel didn't make father's bed. Lydia drew on the floor. Judith sold herself. Is there more, Caleb? I look in Rachel's eyes and I see the devil. There's more, Caleb. Rachel took a break during chores. Rachel didn't wash the dishes. You're a good son, Caleb. 
Yes, Father. Do you declare these to be your transgressions? We declare these to be our transgressions. It is not sufficient to know what you have done wrong. You must also feel what you have done wrong. It is not sufficient to know what I have done wrong. I must also feel what I have done wrong. Washing into hemp raw and bleeding. Hands with the hose, hands with the rope, hands with Mr. Brown. Cold water. Black fingernails. God, God please, please forgive, forgive me. me. Joanna, it's time. Tell me, Joanna, tell me your sins. Tell me your sins. Tell me your sins. get candy. Leah, why do other kids get whatever they want? Because they're good kids and they do what God wants. Because they're good kids and they do what God wants. Because they're good kids and they do what God wants. You'll be late to work, Joanna. Mommy! 
Your mother is on her way to work. I want to say goodbye. It is not good for a child to be dependent on the affection of adults. It will make you spoiled and weak. Do you want to be spoiled and weak? No, Father. You have to be strong to deserve God's love. Yes, Father. Arms. Irene was spoiled and weak. Do you remember Irene? No, Father. How can you not remember her? I don't know, Father. You have her eyes. I'll be late to work. Straight! dresses Irene bought for you. Mommy, who was Irene? Someone who was there for you. What was she like? I'm going to be late. Wait! Mommy, when you go to work, I can see you from our window downstairs. You, you watch me? I watch you walk to the alley. Mommy, can you wave to me? Okay, Rachel, I'll wave to you. Naomi, window. Mary, Luke, window. Leah, window.
Rachel! Fly, fly away. Circus!
Was it chocolate? It was chocolate. With pink icing? Yeah, with pink icing. Did it taste good? It did, Naomi. It tasted so good. I'm glad, Rachel. I'm glad. Go back downstairs. Go back downstairs and don't worry about this. Go downstairs, go! swallowing for an hour, forced to drink water until I vomit, forced to eat my own vomit. Goddamn hot in this basement. Luke, open the window. But there's bees outside. 
Are you afraid of some honeybees, Luke? If the bees get in, they'll sting the babies. Are you disobeying me, Luke? New game! Honeybees! Rule number one! Whoever kills the most bees, wins! Caleb, 1B! Caleb, 2B! Luke, 1B! Jeremiah, 1B! Caleb, 3B! Jeremiah, 2B! Three, four, Jeremiah three, Matthias two piece, Eli one piece, Matthias three, four piece, Matthias four piece, Caleb. Do you sin, Caleb? I sin, Father. Do your brothers sin? My brothers sin. Do your sisters sin? My sisters sin. Do you want to be forgiven? I want to be forgiven. Caleb, the list. Caleb, envy the boy's shoes. Abigail, failed English. Naomi, stole a calculator from her teacher. Leah, painted her nails. Luke, disobeyed me. Jeremiah, stayed father's shirt. Mara, pulled out her eyelashes. Maddie, didn't change the diapers. Rachel, brought food home from school. Lydia, sang a song. Judith, read a book other than the Bible. Eli, took a bath in father's tub. Phoebe, bit her nails. Hannah, wasted food. Esther and Miriam, sold themselves. Is there more, Caleb? I look in Rachel's eyes and I see the devil. There's more, Caleb. There is more, father. Rachel? There's more! Tell me! Caleb! Tell me! Caleb broke the basement window! Is there more? Caleb took the Lord's name in vain! Rachel? Yes, Father? Wait for me in the kitchen. Yes, Father. Caleb! Yes, Father? Take it! Do you declare these to be your transgressions? We, we declare, declare these, these to be our transgressions! It is not sufficient to know what you have done wrong. You must also feel what you have done wrong. It is not sufficient to know what I have done wrong. I must also feel what I have done wrong. Redeem yourself, Caleb.
grated palm. Burnt tongue. Mr. Brown. Scalding water. Broken glass. Spicy black fingernails. Forced to punish my siblings. God, please forgive me. I'm proud of you, Rachel. Thank you, Father. Sit down. My father was a tall man with broad shoulders and thick hands. He always stood up straight and he always wore a suit. We weren't rich, but where we come from, in those days, respectable men wore suits. And Papa was a respectable man. When I was a child, when I was your age, Rachel, I made mistakes. I turned against my father. It wasn't until I was older that I understood him and I came to him and I said, Papa, I am sorry that I turned against you. And I thanked him for being a good father. You're a good girl, Rachel. Yes, Father. You're Papa's little girl. Yes, Papa. You can go.
Yes, you are. Of course, you've come, baby. Oh, look at how strong what? she is. I got you. You're walking. Yeah, look at you walking all by yourself. One, two, three. three. Oh, my baby. You're such a big girl. Such a big girl. Did you get it? Yeah, yeah, I got it. Do I don't know what you did, baby? What'd you do? What'd you do? You walked, didn't you? Yeah, she walked. She walked. You did it, baby. Oh, let me hold her. Let me hold her. Oh, baby. Get the camera. Oh, my baby. She walked. Rachel. 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 Didn't change the diapers. Rachel didn't feed the babies. Rachel snuck outside. Rachel stole father's food. Rachel gave Judith a kiss. Rachel put a ribbon in her. Do you Rachel. declare these to be your transgressions? I declare these to be my transgressions. Come with me. Arms, legs, straight. It is not sufficient to know what you have done wrong. You must also feel what you have done wrong. It is not sufficient to know what I have done wrong. I must also feel what I have done wrong. You can go. Mr. School Bus got home late. Caleb, Mr. School Bus got home late. Caleb, Mr. School Bus got home late. Caleb, got home late. Caleb, got home late. Caleb, got home late. Come forth! Caleb, the school bus got home late. Caleb, the school bus got home late. Caleb, the school bus got home late. Do you sin, Caleb? The school bus got home late. Do you sin, Caleb? Got home late. Caleb, the list. Caleb came home from school 50 minutes. Later. There's more. Tell me. Tell me. There's no more. No more. Caleb, give me over to school. Fifty minutes. Caleb, the bus was late. Do you declare this to be your transgression? The bus was late. It is not sufficient to know what you have done wrong. You must also feel what you have done wrong. It's not sufficient to know what you have done wrong. You must also feel what you have done wrong.
Joanna? 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 Peter! Irene! Can I get you something? No, Joanna. We're fine. Actually, we brought you something. For you. You brought me coffee. You and me. We can't live without it. Since we were kids. Since we were kids. Is it true, Joanna? Is Nicholas gone? He's gone. And he's not coming back. He's gone for good. How are you doing? Good. I'm good. I was going to call. Things are always just so busy. Naomi called us. How are the children? They're good. I'm taking care of them. I don't think you'll be able to keep them, Joanna. The police, child services, you won't be able to keep them. None of them? I don't think so. I know. Will you let us take care of Rachel? We can't take all of them, but we can take care of Rachel. We love Rachel. We love you too, Joanna. What do you think? What do you think? I think Rachel would be happy with you. I think so too. Only for a few months, until things are settled here. Thank you, Joanna. She's downstairs. Thank you. You were 10 months old, a little baby. Your mother came to us, exhausted, sick, pregnant. She told us she was leaving Nicholas. She asked for help. We found you in the basement, in a laundry basket, wearing just a shirt. And the shirt was thin and torn and there was no heat. And it was a real Chicago winter. 
Your uncle took off his coat. He wrapped you in his coat and he carried you out of that basement. Right here, right here is where you took your first steps. for nine months. We wanted you to stay forever. But your mother and Nicholas came and took you back. We kept everything. Every photo, every toy, every dress, and every video. Baby, you're doing it. You're walking all by yourself now. Yes, you are. Look how far you you spoke your first words here. You called us mommy and daddy. And you were our little girl. This was your home, Rachel.
Tomorrow, I will be born. Tomorrow, this life of memories and dreams will become my true, real life. In the Bible, people always introduce themselves by their parents' names or their children's names. Tomorrow, I will go to court and become Rachel, daughter of Irene and Peter. Tomorrow, I will become theirs and they will become mine. But I feel like it has always been this way. Love is what brings people to life and they were my first loves. Their love taught me to see, to hear, to touch. Their love brought me into the world. Thank you, God, for my second story. Thank you for the photos that Irene and Peter saved. Thank you for the videos they took, the clothes they packed away, the toys they kept. God, please bless Irene and Peter. And God, if you could, please make algebra or trig easier or make me just a little better at it. And also, there's this boy named Liam and it'd be pretty nice if it turned out that he likes me. And please, someday, give me the strength to tell my story. And please, Bless mommy and bless my brothers and sisters, wherever they are now. Please guide them to homes where they will be loved and where they can love and let us find each other again someday. Revelations chapter 21 verse four. And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes and there shall be no more death neither sorrow nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. Gustavo, Vincent, Chelsea, Aliana, Maiden Wiena, Quito, Paloma, Lisbeth, Kyra, Christina, Kiara, Lily, Leslie, Jalen, Ellie, Electra, and I'm Justin. And, and we are APTP.